this will be live on that one. We are about to go back live. Good morning, y'all. You want to do mountain climbers? Well, they will be on later today. The Sean's just put up that video, and when they do, I will alert you and uh, share on all our social media platforms. So, yes. Mountain climbers. Those aren't that bad. But, I mean, it's kind of, well, no, I don't mind that much. It's the get-up jump, though. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, really? Another one? Are you sure? I'm like, I'm like, I hate when you're in class, because then, like, you're like, I hope you look fast and annoying. Right! I'm like, I want to see the best. And it's not them, you know, it's me comparing myself. Right, exactly. Like, this is not working. So I'll break it down and we'll go through each day. Okay, <coughs> And it's actually on my birthday! Oh, is it really? Mm, Wednesday, November 1st. Oh, that's a public, is that public? Yeah, uh, no, that's energy. Tourism and Destiny Game Healthcare. People Station. Health. Welcome back to The Good Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Wellness Wednesday, and we're here to open your mind. We are living the good life right here on WBOK 1230 AM. We are opening minds to living differently in the world with love, compassion, tolerance, and understanding for ourselves and hopefully everyone else. We do that right here weekdays at 11 a.m. Make sure you tune in. If you have a business, if you are a corporation, if you would like to join The Good Life, you can go online right now at tglradioshow.com for our rates and packages. Give us a call, 504-400-7127, or email me, Eileen, E-I-L-E-E-N, at tglradioshow.com. Why? Because it's The Good Life. And speaking of our theme this week, Unlocking Your Core, I have a very special guest uh, in the studio today who has un who is unlocking the core of New Orleans to the world, literally. She is Caitlin Kane, the CEO of the World Trade Center of New Orleans, and I'm so excited for you to be here. Thank you so much. Uh, there's so often we talk about trade and we, we have a business and we have a lot of small business uh, businesses who listen, entrepreneurs, businesses, community leaders, organizations are like, how can I get my product out of New Orleans? Or, you know, how can I take it to the next level? Well, I have reeled you in. I have gotten you in the hot seat. And so I'm excited to have you here, not only just to explain that, but you have a special week of events coming up very soon, right? Yes. We do. We do. Or talk about unleashing global opportunities and going global. We have our inaugural week, which is International Trade Week. So Louisiana Trade Week, where we're taking an entire week from October 30th to November 3rd. And I like to say we're going back to the future and we're celebrating our culture of trade. Wow. And we're really encouraging all businesses, small, medium, larger businesses that are interested in global possibilities, interested in exploring global possibilities. Maybe they're already involved in international trade and maybe they're a passive trader and they want to scale more globally. But this is the week to really engage and have some great dialogue and do some wonderful networking for an entire week of all things related to international trade. Well, we're going to break down the, re the week really quickly, but what Caitlin didn't know, I told her a little bit before the show, is y'all, they they created this entire week around my birthday so you know <laughs> we have to go participate oh, in it you. it is it is it is around my birthday and of course the good life is reaching the world so i think this is perfect the louisiana international trade week in jubilee um the the week for the public starts on tuesday october 31st and that is a doing business in indian country identifying and navigating business opportunities in tribal land so can you give us a little um bit about that sure actually i'm going to take one step back and okay, just talk ahead. a little bit more in global about the entire week. Please. The entire week is really meant to celebrate traditional trade sectors and non-traditional trade sectors. Gotcha. And that's really intentional. It's to give visibility to all the different faces of trade because trade is an incredibly diverse operation. Yes. You know, it's full of so many different faces. It's full of so many different sized businesses. And that's what this week is really about. So the doing business in Indian country is a perfect example of that. It's a non-traditional trade sector, but each tribal land is, is treated like a sovereign nation, right? right. So right. it's really important for businesses to understand how to regulate the or how to navigate the regulatory environment, the different policies and the different business opportunities available to businesses interested in uh, tribal areas. And it's funny that you say that because I um, interviewed 
Ooh, I forget his name, but a couple weeks ago, and I might actually put you in, in touch with him because he is doing a an outreach of the um, the history of the Indians of New Orleans, and he actually had them connected to, I believe, the Choctaw yes, tribe. Yes. So he has something that would probably would definitely be a wonderful uh, addition to this, and I'm going to make sure that he gets the information. Absolutely. So he goes. He should definitely come to this. And See we'll, y'all. So we're bringing people in from Oklahoma and Louisiana, and talking about all the different business opportunities that there that are available to businesses in Indian country. Wow. Okay. So we are we are only on the first day, y'all. We have a whole pack. We're on, we're gonna go on day two, which is my day, my birthday. Uh, that is Wednesday, November first. That is no, uh, nine a.m. Uh, the conversation is wrapped around going gaga over global tourism and destination healthcare. Caitlin, tell us about that. Well, this is actually another example of uh, of a sector that we do really well here and throughout Louisiana, yes. which is healthcare. It has right? grown by and tourism, by yes. right? And tourism being one of our primary sectors of investment Where and opportunity. Without it. Absolutely, right. everybody knows the New Orleans brand. So destination healthcare is about really linking the two mm-hmm. and showing the synergies between those two two sectors. So we have some great business leaders that will be joining this panel from Auctioner Hospital CEO, uh, Auctioner Hospital, GNO Inc., uh, uh, Michael Hecht from GNO Inc., love Michael. Warner Thomas from Auctioner Hospital, Mark Romig from Tourism. We have oh, Copa Airlines. Um, it should be a really, really unique panel talking about the synergies and again, the opportunities for businesses when those two worlds collide. This is amazing. I am reading the lineup, and I don't know what y'all are going to be doing this week, but I will be here. Uh, the next day will be Thursday, November 2nd, of again starting at 9 a.m., laying the groundwork for successful public-private partnerships. Wow. A focus on infrastructure and transportation. I know this is a conversation that, you know, we have so often, but obviously this is a conversation that's taking to the next level. Tell us about it. Yeah, so this actually evolved from a, a, a broader conversation about really the need to finance very complicated and complex infrastructure projects throughout the state mm-hmm. and the need to bring both the public sector together with the private sector to figure out how can we alternatively finance some of these projects that are otherwise not being appropriately funded. So the conversation is is actually starting off about what are public-private partnerships, why are they so significant, how can we how can we form public-private partnerships in Louisiana specifically to address those real needs that we have that have a direct link to international trade from transportation up and down the Mississippi River or the the, the highway network again which is a huge component for our logistics movement of freight right. goods uh, to public transit to um, other infrastructure needs and so this is bringing together the, the brightest and the best from our from our community leaders from the secretary of DOTD, to our commissioner of multimodal, to our CEOs of our ports and um, the private sector with Union Pacific, really talking about best practices and public-private partnerships and what we can do here in Louisiana to, to make those a reality. And then the next panel after that will actually be how do we finance public-private partnerships. Mm. So this is bringing it again. Show together. me the money. Exactly. <laughs> it's all about the money. So it's really bringing together experts uh, around the globe that are very Wow. crafty at putting these these P3 models together, these public-private partnership models together, and again, pairing those with some of our local experts to talk, to talk about bonding and incentives and commercial lending and alternative layering strategies. All, all of the information we need. Absolutely. All Absolutely. of the information to, we need. To, to grow into the, to, you know, to the next years. And then, of course, it will end with the Jubilee and Awards, Louisiana International Trade Jubilee and Awards on Friday, November 3rd. And all of this is taking place where? At the New Orleans Convention Center. And the Jubilee is really our, it all crescendos on that Friday. And what this entire week really is about is celebrating trade. And so that Friday, we celebrate our trade champions. We have the Gene Shriver Award, which will be awarded to Paul Oakland from the Port of South Louisiana. Wow. We have a Young and Emerging Trade Leader Award and a Small Business Award. And uh, again, this is our first year. We're hoping to replicate this yes. every year going forward. But this is open to anybody that's interested in coming out and celebrating and dancing and eating with us. You know we like to do that in New Orleans. Absolutely. So I don't think that, that, that's difficult to reel us into that one. Right. And all of this is available on our website at www 
WTCNO.org. I was just about to say, this is partying for a purpose. And just like you said, everyone knows the brand of New Orleans. And there's a lot of times where, you know, our restaurants may have a special uh, item that they sell that, you know, has gotten very popular. But you, you can help us, you know, take that item and really uh, bring it to the world. Because so many people want a taste of New Orleans, whether it's music, whether it's crafts, whether it's food, you know, whatever. We do so many things here. And we're like, you know, how did somebody steal it from me? And I talk about that on The Good Life all the time, manifesting things. And, and when you have that intuition to jump, to take it. Well, this is that opportunity. You would be upset if somebody takes your idea or your product and sells it to the world. And you're like, well, I, why wouldn't I do that? Well, Ms. Caitlin Kane, the CEO of the World Trade Center, is sitting here giving you the opportunity to take your product, your service to the world. Let's take advantage of it. You can get all of the information on WTCNO.org. That is WTCNO.org. We're having a conversation about the Louisiana International Trade Week in Jubilee. It begins on Tuesday, October 3rd. Um, 31st, open to the public through um, Friday, November 3rd. So we want to make sure that everyone gets involved. This is time to not talk the talk. This is time to get involved and walk the walk. And speaking of, not only this week, how can we get involved with the World Trade Center of New Orleans? Because I know you can become a member. Absolutely, absolutely. Let me tell you two ways to really get involved. Come to this week and, which you had said earlier, if you're a small or medium-sized enterprise and you're interested in going global, we have a going global workshop as part of this week, which yeah. will actually be co-sponsored between the U.S. Commercial Services and the Urban League, and that's really focused on just helping businesses that are interested in international trade but aren't quite there to think about global opportunities you know, and what it, that all means. It's nerve-wracking. You're like, oh my gosh, how do I, you know, I want to sell to somebody in France, Africa, you know, Spain, uh, South America, like. Can my Absolutely. stuff really be there? And you're, you're like, yes, it can. Absolutely, and, that, and that's a great point. And allow the World Trade Center to be your front door to those global possibilities. And that's mm. really how to get involved with the World Trade Center. Yes, we are a membership-based organization, but we are an, an organization that focuses on being the front door to global possibilities. Wow. So we have a pronounced network of those that are involved in international trade in a variety of different sectors. So you have an immediate network based on whatever sector of business you're in connected internationally. Right. So it's, it's a very powerful powerful thing to be connected to. And you know, and, and you're saying that, and I think we, we take that a little bit for granted because, you know, think about the items that we purchase each and every day. We look at the tag made here, there, and everywhere. Well, our products can go somewhere else and say made in Louisiana, <laughs> made in New Orleans, or, you know, however we would like to promote our products. So, you know, all we have to do, I talk about uh, and believing it and having faith and everything begins with a thought. And so if we can believe it, we can achieve it. And so one of those ways is through the World Trade Center of New Orleans. And they want to be that open door for us. And so I want to walk through it. I don't know about you, but I'm like, I want my radio show global. So I don't know what connections you have, but we will figure them out as well. <laughs> and so uh, Ms. Caitlin Kane is here as well. I want to thank you so much. Is there any final thoughts you had? No, please check out the website. There Center. This is open to anybody and everyone that's inter interested in international trade. Please register and please get involved. And so, oh, and I'm looking here right now. We can register we, with like one click. One click. It's all it takes. And also, I'm sitting here. Are we? Are sponsorships available still? Yes, open? sponsorships are still available. So, if you're interested in sponsoring, we'd love to hear from you. So, sponsors and small businesses or entrepreneurs or anyone who is interested in taking their business to the next level and worldwide, the New Orleans uh, World Trade Center and the CEO, Ms. Caitlin Kane, want to be your doorway to the world. And with our port, I mean with our 33 ports. Wait, time out. I was just thinking about the one, you know, down the street. You're like, 33 ports. Yeah, I didn't even think about Louisiana. that. We are truly wow. a global hub, and I think that's what this is really all about, is getting people to really embrace global opportunity and global possibility, because there are so many services that are out there for small and medium-sized enterprises for how to go global and how to compete internationally, because your world, the business opportunities, 85% of that is outside this immediate region. You right? know, we don't so like to leave. We, <laughs> <laughs> we don't like to leave. Right, but when you think about creating a resilient business, resilience is also being global. Right. Out, outside of here. Right. You know, some people don't like to cross from uptown to downtown. Y'all, we are going to reach the world. And that's what opening your mind is about. So I want to thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much Because you definitely opened my mind. I was only thinking about one port. That's why you need the World Trade Center because she's like, mm-mm, 33. Yes, open your mind. And that's exactly what Ms. Caitlin Kane, the CEO of the World Trade Center, has done for us today. So make sure you go on to WTCNO.org.
That is WTCNO.org. All of the information that you heard today on the show is right there. And we will also share their uh, website on all of our social media platforms. That is TGL Radio Show, TGL Radio Show. Make sure you follow us. Call us, 504-400-7127. Email me, thoughts, comments. You like me, you don't. I like to hear it all. E-I-L-E-E-N at TGLRadioShow.com. And follow us um, on our new website. It is TGLRadioShow.com. Bye. Buy a t-shirt, buy an apron, open your mind. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're talking about unlocking your core this week. Make sure you stay tuned. It's Eileen, y'all, and I'm out. I'm just going to close us out on social media. Thank you so much, Instagram, for following us today. Please share the... Uh, the most underutilized button Hi, in the I'm world. I know you can't hear me because I forgot to take you off commercials. The most underutilized button in the world is a share button. Just like sharing to the world. Just share. Share. Help me out. Share. Thanks so much, y'all. I'm out. All right.